Sheev Tower is a 19th century marvel of ingenuity, still standing proudly today. This Blair landmark is irresistible to painters, photographers, and history buffs, but its reason for being here speaks to our agricultural past and our ancestors' innovations nearly 150 years ago. Neatly tucked away under a forest canopy and set within the boundaries of a provincially significant wetland, this 31-foot tower has been restored to its original bold ox blood color. Built in 1876, it was a remarkable feat of engineering which harnessed water power via pulley and cable for the nearby grist mill. It was one of the world's smallest hydro-generating projects. Today, the historic Blair Sheave Tower is Ontario's last remaining wooden water-powered hydro-generator tower. My name is Brie Gasho. I grew up in the Waterloo region. I've worked in the local heritage sector, and I'm a past board member of the Architectural Conservancy of Ontario's Cambridge Division. I'd like to share with you why the Sheave Tower is important to me and share a little bit of its story. The Sheave Tower is located on Old Mill Road in Cambridge's Blair community. It's situated beside Bowman Creek and its mill pond. The province of Ontario recognizes this area as a provincially significant wetland. The tower houses a series of gears and shafts inside and was built by Alan Bowman in 1876. Alan Bowman's father, Samuel Bowman, owned and operated the Carlisle Mill, which began running in 1846. The flour mill was roughly 240 feet upstream from the tower, which was built to generate power for the mill. A high cable or belt was installed at the top of the tower and was connected to the mill. As water flowed from the mill pond through the sluiceway or channel, it propelled the turbine, which then turned the sheave wheel pulley at the top of the tower, transferring energy to the belt, which generated power at the mill. This name, sheave tower, was derived from the sheave mechanism. This form of hydro-generated power was still in use at the mill until 1931. Unfortunately, at that time, there was a fire that burned down the top three stories of the mill. In the 1930s, an electric motor was installed, which continued to operate at the mill until the 1950s. Now, not only is the Sheave Tower historically important, but it's architecturally significant as well. This is a unique example of the Carpenter Gothic style of architecture. The Carpenter Gothic style refers to buildings that are constructed mostly out of wood where the Gothic Revival architectural style has been applied. We can see with the Sheave Tower that we have a wooden frame structure approximately two and a half stories high. It has a tapered shape referencing that verticality of the Gothic Revival style. It's clad in board and batten with a cedar shingle gable roof. There's also pointed arch Gothic Revival windows on the south side of the building and on the lean-to. The Architectural Conservancy of Ontario, or ACO, holds the title to the Sheave Tower. The ACO is a provincial charitable organization that's dedicated to preserving the best of Ontario's built and natural heritage. The ACO Cambridge, the local branch of this provincial body, is responsible for the preservation and upkeep of the Sheave Tower. There's been many efforts to restore and preserve this tower over the years. Mill operations closed in 1954 and the Sheave Tower was neglected and fell into a state of disrepair. In 1988, the Sheave Tower was designated under Part 4 of the Ontario Heritage Act by the City of Cambridge and is listed on the City's Heritage Properties Register. In 1994, Heritage Cambridge, as it was called at the time, later rebranded as ACO Cambridge, purchased the Sheave Tower. The Waterloo Region Heritage Foundation has also awarded numerous grants for the restoration and enhancements at the tower, including a footbridge across the stream. In 1999, Nicholas Hill, a respected Ontario-trained heritage architect, consulted on the restoration for the tower. This was one of his last projects before his death in 2001. In the year 2000, there was a ceremonial unveiling of the Sheave Tower in celebration 
of the community of Blair's 200th anniversary. What remains at this site today? Well, we have the tower and its water channel, but there are no working parts and we do not have interior access. There is the new footbridge that was added during restorations, and the tower is surrounded by naturalized acreage. Why would it be important to preserve something like the Sheaf Tower today, you might ask? It is the only remaining structure of its kind in the Waterloo region. It represents a key aspect of the history of the milling industry in the area, which was important to the development of Waterloo Region as we know it today. The Sheaf Tower is a standing reminder of the resourcefulness of the people in the 1870s in this area at the time. We're privileged to witness this firsthand, but also to think back of what it would have been like here 150 years ago. The landscape would have been much different with large open spaces and a much larger pond. Standing beside the tower today, we can imagine the sights and sounds of industry, the vibration of water power being generated underfoot. Now, today there's a sense of tranquility, almost an oasis, generating a sort of wonderment and excitement. This is our common past, and this is well worth preserving for future generations.